This is a GTX 1070. You know how I know that? Well, because that's what the eBay listing said. Okay, uh, I did actually already hook it up and test it and make sure. Uh, there's no label on the back of it. I already looked. Uh, typically, a lot of cards will have a label saying what kind of card it is, or there'll be a, some other kind of label. It's not. This is an MSI card. Uh, it came in really, really good shape, really clean. And I did already stick it in the system, or a system, just to see and make sure that it was, in fact, the GTX 1070. But now we're going to do a little bit of comparison because we also have a GTX 1660 and an RTX 3050. And how do things compare from one generation to another? You know, let's find out. One, one further little tidbit here. This 602V330-17SB, that does come back as an MSI. GTX 1070. So yeah, we're we're in pretty good shape there. So this is in fact a real 1070, and uh, I didn't just base it on whatever I bought from eBay. Don't worry. Okay, so the GTX 1070. Where do we start? Because people are going to argue that this is probably one of the best video cards that Nvidia ever put out. Uh, and and I would I would rightfully agree with them. Um, this thing is solid all the way around. And when it came out, it was reasonably priced. Uh, I think the 1080, 1080 Ti, and all that stuff and all that were were kind of outrageous. And then they turned around and did a 1070 Ti that at the time didn't make any sense. But this 1070 was was pretty pretty darn stable. And on the other side, AMD was putting out cards like the RX 480 and then the RX 580, and those were really solid too. So this is really a good time in video cards. You could really get a good solid video card for a reasonable price, and we've already showed that some of these will still hold up pretty well. Now, the good thing about this 1070 is that you can still get drivers from NVIDIA for this, current drivers, whereas the RX 480 and 580 uh, those 500 series and 400 series, AMD has stopped. Uh, you can still get drivers, but they're not being updated as often. They're not being updated at all. They're just the last uh, last available driver. These 10 series cards still are getting updates. So that gives it a pretty good advantage. Now, how does it compare to more modern cards? Because by now, this card is, we're talking about six years old or so. Uh, I mean, if I'm wrong, I, I, if it's a little bit different, I'll put it on the screen. But we're talking about, this is several generations. We're, we're already, 4,000 series is already out. 5,000 is coming out. And um, yeah, so we've, we've gone through several generations. What we're going to do here is we're going to compare this to the RTX, um, yeah, the RTX 3050 and the GTX 1660. So we've got the 1070, then we've got the next series, which would have been the 2060 and 1660. We'll compare the 1660 out of that, and then we'll compare the next series up, the 3050. And if the improvements generation after generation hold true, then we should see the RTX 3050 slightly outperform this 1070 most every time. I'm going to tell you that's not quite the case. Now, there are some things, and I did this in 1440p and 1080. Uh, there are some things that surprised me a little bit, and we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll discuss that a little bit. But what you need to know, basically, is that this 1070 is still <laughs> a pr pretty darn good card. Uh, and you can find them on eBay, reasonable price. I got this one, I believe, including tax, shipping, and everything, about $85. Um, you can find them anywhere from about eighty-five or ninety dollars uh, on up to like one forty, one fifty. So the the prices they they're kind of all over the place. You can get a decent one of these cards for somewhere around ninety bucks if you deal hunt, maybe a little bit cheaper. Um, I happen to be able to get uh, a ten dollar off coupon, so it helped knock it down a little bit more. I was pretty fortunate that way. But uh, yeah, for the price, am I still getting a good card? And I'm going to tell you. Yes, I am. Uh, you can also get a 1660 for around that same neighborhood. So it really comes down to which one you might want. But the 1660 has 6 gig of VRAM or video memory. The 1070 has 8 gig. Both of them are going to have similar power requirements in a lot of cases. This 1070, I think, had a, an 8-pin uh, external power connector. And the 1660 had a 6-pin, if I remember right. The 3050 did not have one at all, but in most cases, the 8 gig version of the 3050 does. Now, I tested, I'm testing against a 6 gig 
3050 version, so it might be it might be just a little bit kneecapped, but still, it'll give us some pretty good numbers here. Uh, what I went ahead and did is I the ones that I normally test: Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Borderlands 3, uh, Cyberpunk, and uh, CS2. And then I added one or two things. In this case, I added Black Myth, Black Myth Wukong, that test onto it. I did not test the other cards with that. I just went ahead and tested this 1070 so I can start getting benchmark tests with that with that uh, that game. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll just take a look at them a little bit here. I did 1080 and I did 1440. We'll start with the 1440p first in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And... A, a pleasant surprise here we figured out or we found out that the 1070 actually outperforms both of these other cards and we already knew that um, the 1660 outperformed the 16 uh, the 3050 slightly uh, when we get to borderlands things are a little bit weird because then we start start to see in both and the behavior 1080 and 1440 is very similar for both of these so we'll, we'll come to a conclusion in a minute but when we go to borderlands 3 we find uh something a little more surprising not really but um this the 1070 still is very very solid here we see the 3050 uh jump out in front of a little bit of the 1660 so those two are still kind of neck and neck but the 1070 still outperforms both of them uh, now that might be the slight edge to 8 gig of vram that the 1070 has that the other two cards do not. But uh, then we find a little bit more of a surprise when we're looking at Cyberpunk. Now, the reason why I, I test these games, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is a good all-around. It's still fairly popular. People still kind of refer to it, especially in benchmarks. Borderlands 3 will, will make sure uh, that test your GPU or your graphics card a little bit more so it tends to heat things up a little bit and Cyberpunk is pretty intensive because not only does it tax the CPU because you can vary the crowd density and all that stuff but the GPU or the graphics card because it does have some things like DLSS or in this case the FSR 2.1 which was the default which I think is kind of weird because uh, even with the RTX 3050 it defaulted to FSR I don't know. If you're running an Intel card, it defaults to XESS. I don't know why, but in any case, uh, we were able to get round numbers across the board here. And uh, we find that the 3050 actually outperforms both. A uh, little surprise there, but um, yeah, and I'm not quite sure why that is, but I did make sure the settings were the same for all of them. Uh, but it's not like head and shoulders above. They're, they're all pretty close. And for the price range, we're still talking about the 1660 and the 1070 probably being quite a bit better value. Now, if you like running all your stuff and, and ray tracing, the 3050 is not the card you want to get anyway. But, um, yeah, the advantage to this 3050 is you don't need external power. I went ahead and ran Black Myth Wukong, that, the, the free benchmark that you can get on Steam. I ran that in mid-50s, uh, not too bad. I, I think it was uh, 54 for 1440p and 59 for 1080p. Not too bad at all. And then by the time I went to CS2, um, those, those numbers you can see there too. Um, pretty decent. I'm not going to complain whatsoever. Um, this is a really, really... You can probably just... I imagine with this card, set it on 1440 medium and just let it rip because it's going to hit 60 frames per second in, in, in most games, except for probably the most modern titles. But um, with this, I mean, even even Black Myth Wukong was uh, 54 on, on 1440p high. So you're going to get a decent experience out of this, which whatever way you go. And most games are going to look really, really good. This car brand extremely cool. I did not see it even when it was uh, doing Borderlands. Never went above 70, 70 degrees Celsius. And most cases it was in the mid, uh, I'd say mid 60s, 64, 65. Quiet, very, very quiet. Those two slightly oversized fans on the MSI model. And you kind of have to forgive me for the cable management trying to plug it in. It's a longer card. The cable wasn't quite long enough. And it was twisted the other direction because I had that arc. Uh, a750 in there to begin with so i didn't feel like trying to tussle everything around but in any case this coming in especially if you can get this card for under 85 or 90 dollars um this is a great buy and it's still very very valid this thing's still a monster uh especially for that price the price performance on that is is just it's outstanding now i didn't test it against like the, uh, the 3050 8 gig 
But I did kind of out of curiosity run it against the RTX 3060. Yeah, that 3060 outperforms it by a good 10 to 12%. So I didn't include these numbers. Uh, if you want me to show a video on that or something comparing those, I will. Leave me notes in the comments or something. I'd be glad to go ahead and do that. But that that uh, RTX 3060, that, thing, that, that for the price of what it is, Cards like that RX 6600, the 3060 and all, they are just, they are phenomenal from a newer generation perspective. As far as maybe one of the the, the greats of all time, this 1070 has got to be one of them. I mean, some people are going to argue that some of the 9 series and maybe even as far as back as the, the, uh, the 600 series from NVIDIA in their time were great cards, and they were. But uh, this 1070 just, I mean, for what it was and what it still is. It's a phenomenal deal, especially with eight gig of VRAM. I mean, that's we're we're talking. We went from cards the the nine seventies, nine eighties had two or four, and this is this is stepping up to eight. That was pretty a pretty big leap, and it shows. So uh, yeah, that's all I got for this video. I just I got this card because I was looking at other things. I'm I'm looking and trying to find. I've got an RTX 2060 on the way that is defective. Um, that I sort of one of those eBay finds. It, you, is it broken? Can you fix it? Type of thing. But in the process, I found this card and I thought, you know what? That's a pretty decent deal and I bet I can make something out of it. So yeah, that that is. Uh, that's my thought, my feelings on still what is still a phenomenal card. Still what is still. When I learn how to speak or be in front of a camera, I'm really going to like it. I promise. Uh, in any case, uh, yeah. That is all I have. Those are my thoughts, and I hope you got something out of it. If you did, go ahead and throw a like on the video, please. If you're not already subscribed, please do. I think I'm about uh, 10, 11 people away or 9 or 10 people away. It depends on what YouTube did over the past couple of days because I've seen my subs go up and down um, by a couple here or there every day, and I just can't keep track, and it's weird. But trying to hit 1,500 would love if you not subbed. If you would don't, you know, don't mind, go ahead and do that. Just hit that button. Put me up there. Uh, yeah, but if you don't hit the like button or you don't subscribe, you don't tell me what your favorite video card or if you thought a better video card existed in the either NVIDIA, AMD, or even Intel. Um, yeah, if you don't do any of those things or hit the socials, don't forget that. Um, just do me one favor, and that's just be good to each other. Be kind. It costs nothing to be kind, and you might just feel a little bit better for doing it, you know? Um, when you smile, wave, hold the door open, say good morning, good evening, whatever, uh, sometimes it makes you feel a little bit better, probably makes the person that you address or, or do that for or to feel a lot better, and everybody's just happier overall, right? And we all kind of need to be a little bit nicer to each other. It, it's, uh, yeah, th th things aren't easy right now. Things are going to, they're, they're weird, and the nicer we can be and the more understanding and kind we can be, uh, yeah, it's pretty good, huh? So anyway, that is all the stuff I got for right now. Obviously, you can see some of the other stuff over my shoulder here. Those things are still in progress. Um, there's more coming. <laughs> so until I get myself into something I got no business getting into, I'll see you later.